Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to set priority in the test in TestNG. So we will go very basic step by step and we will see how to set priority and we will also see what will happen if two or more tests have same priority in TestNG, what will happen if a class has both prioritized and non-prioritized methods and what if a class has no prioritized methods, what will be the sequence of execution and Towards this session, I will also be discussing some useful tips with you. So let's get started and I will jump over to my Eclipse and here I have a Java project and I will create a new package here. So you can just create a new class. I am just for this demo, I am creating a package by the name demo. And inside this demo package, I will create a new class and I will say this is test ng priority demo and here I can create methods so I will just create a method by name test1 and I will create few more methods I will create a method by name test2 and then one more I will just copy this and paste it again and name this as 3 okay so I have created these three methods here or three functions here and I will give all of them the test ng annotation test so I will say test and make sure that you import the annotation from org test ng annotations and again here I will say this is again test ng test and the same thing here okay now uh, let me just put a simple printout statement here so here in the test one I will say I am inside test one and I will just copy this from here and paste it inside test 2 as well and here I will say this is I am inside test 2 and in test 3 as well I am printing I am inside test 3 so three simple tests all are having test and annotation test and we are printing something inside these tests let us try to run this now and see what is the sequence of execution of these tests I will right click run as test ng test and let us see so all the three tests ran and if I go to the console you can see it first runs test 1 then test 2 and then test 3 now if I want to set a priority I can give a parameter in the annotation test I will give a brackets circular brackets and say priority you can press control spacebar so that it gets auto completed and here I will say this is priority uh, 1 and here I can say this is priority 2 and the, the test 3 I am seeing this is and make sure it is uh, all lowercase because in test ng it is case sensitive so if you do give a uppercase it will anyways give you an error and here I will say this is priority 3 so of course if I run this again I should be getting the same result so let me run this again and everything is passed and we have the sequence as test 1, test 2 and test 3 okay now let us see suppose I say test 3 uh, I give a priority of a lesser number and I say this is 0 and if I run this now what happens let us go to the console and you can see it runs test number 3 first and then test 1 and then test 2 okay and I can also give any negative value also in the priority so you can give any number it will run as per the lowest number first and then the uh, the number greater than that particular number so if I run this now ideally test 2 should get executed first and yes first it executes test 2 that has priority minus 1 then test 3 that has 0 and then test 1 which has 1 okay now let's imagine if you do not have a uh, priority or if you have same priority for example if I have same priority 1 and 1 for test number 2 and 0 for test number 3 what happens now if I run this now 
so if I go to the console you can see it runs test 3 which is of lowest priority but after that among test 1 and test 2 it runs test 1 first and then test 2 why so see both test 1 and test 2 have the same priority so when two methods have the same priority in test ng then alphabetical order is considered so let us do this I will name first method as 1 second method as 2 and this as 3 and I will set the same priority for all the methods 1 1 1 and 1 and the method name is 1 2 and 3 so now priority is same let us run this and let us see the output so it runs test 1 then test 3 and then test 2 why because now it is running as per the alphabetical order so O comes first so it is running test 1 out of test 2 and 3 the first letter is T so this is skipped after that it goes to second letter which is W here and H here so H comes uh, first and therefore it is running test 3 first and then test 2 now what happens if we do not have any priority so you must have guessed by now if we do not have any priority again it will consider the alphabetic order so I am not giving any priority now I will save and run this again and again you can see it is running as per the alphabetical order and what happens if we have few methods with priority so I will give priority here I will say this is priority 1 and this is priority 2 and I do not give any priority to method 1 if I run this now let us see what happens so you can see it runs test 1 which has no priority and then the other tests as per the priority so if you do not have if you have a multiple test with or you have a class with multiple methods and bo having both prioritized and non prioritized methods then it will run first the non prioritized methods and then the prioritized methods and also out of the prioritized methods it will if you have the same priority it will consider the alphabetic order so if I run this now it will run test 1 first and then test 3 and then test 2 so let us verify I run this now so you can see it runs test 1 first then test 3 and then test 2 okay and of course if you have more than one non prioritized methods again alphabetical order will be considered so this is how you can uh, run your test cases in sequence with priority so we have learned how to set priority in test ng we have also learned what happens when two or more tests have same priority what happens when a class has both prioritized and non prioritized methods and what happens when a class has no prioritized methods I hope this session was useful for you you can do some hands on with some more examples and let me know your experiences and if you face any issues you can write them down in the comments section I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching